Hello and welcome to Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. First, a look at the highlights. National Seminar on Violence Against Women held. DCL Student of the Year Contest begins at KU. And UGC HRDC conducts valedictory function of winter school refresher course. Now the details with your host, Bina Shali. The Department of Social Work organized a one-day national seminar on violence against women. Coordinator of the Department of Social Work, Dr. Shazia Manzoor, presented the welcome address. I would say that there is an extremely urgent call that brings us all together, the burning issue that is the social crisis of our time and that needs to be addressed. Violence against women is an issue that is affecting our lives and pointing to the degeneration of our society. <clears throat> women are a vulnerable group even today and this is a sad fact. Yet women we are worshipped as goddesses and placed on a high pedestal in the society. But women have also been at the receiving end of violence and have been more or less powerless in defending themselves. Women are treated a commodity in the Indian culture as a pariah dhan that needs to be given away and whose role is to obey her husband and treat any form of violence or abuse as part of being a woman, something that she lets go unquestioned. In India, violence against women is so common that crimes against women are reported every two minutes, even as most cases go unnoticed. The Vice Chancellor of Kashmir University, Professor Khurshid Iqbal Andrabi, presided over the event and said that equality isn't always the solution, but justice needs to be there. We have always resorted to equality. How can you resort to equality? That would never be justice. Kyun chota bacha hai, iski responsibility choti hogi. बड़ा बच्चा है इसकी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी बड़ी होगी अगर आप हमने इक्वालिटी देख ली तो ये छोटे बच्चे के साथ इनजस्टिस हो जाएगा सम टाइम्स इक्वालिटी डजंट वर्क सम टाइम्स जस्टिस वर्क्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स एक्चुअली जस्टिस वर्क्स नॉट नेसेसरीली इक्वालिटी आप यही देख लीजिए कि मां तीन गुना ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है फादर से यहां हम इक्वालिटी ढूंढते नहीं यहां बोलते नहीं मां तो इंपॉर्टेंट है पता नहीं कहां किसी किसी जगह हम इक्वालिटी ढूंढ लेते हैं किसी किसी जगह मर्द थोड़ा बेहतर है किसी किसी जगह औरत थोड़ी बेहतर है वी हैव एक्चुअली नॉट गॉन इन टू द इथॉस ऑफ इस्लाम एज मच एज वी शुड हैव राइटर एंड एक्टिविस्ट मिस सबा हुसैन सेड दैट मास वायलेंस इंटेंसिफाइज डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस एंड द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सोशल वर्क नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द रूट कॉज ऑफ इट According to many studies actually the mass violence that takes place outside the homes actually leads to an intensification of domestic violence of violence against women within their homes and a senior journalist from Kashmir actually put up a very brief post just saying that 15 women had died in Kashmir due to domestic violence in the last 3 years so it would be interesting if somebody could actually talk about it a little more in detail and here i would like to begin by making a few general comments and observations regarding violence against women which most of us here i guess are familiar with but i think as students of uh, department of social work it's also very very important to understand how it's rooted in society what is it that leads to this kind of violence and why is it that it continues despite legislations professor mushtaq a siddiqui vice chancellor of islamic university of science and technology in his address said that there is unequal power sharing between men and women he advised men to treat women well it is basically the unequal power sharing between man and woman that leads to any kind of whether you call it violence you call it discrimination actually in a patriarchal society men have not as yet prepared themselves to share their power equally with women my advice is to the men folk that we need to change our attitude if we are having some faith in any religion i'm not specifying only to islam but there are other faiths 
who have treated women in a dignified manner, respectably. So therefore, if we have faith also, that faith dictates us to treat women with respect, with dignity. Kashmiri poet Ayub Shakir also addressed the audience and narrated poetry related to the importance of women. Vice Chancellor of Central University of Kashmir, Professor Mehrajuddin, was the chief guest of the valedictory session of the event and he talked about issues related to domestic violence. There is another dimension, what we call domestic violence, which is, I think, more dangerous than the violence which is at the hands of outsiders. Why that is more dangerous? Because the violence by the outsiders is visible to everyone. Everyone comes to the rescue, whosoever he or she may be, because if some security man or if some neighbor or if some outsider commits violence against women, everyone shows concern. But in the domestic violence, she suffers most because normally nobody is in a position to witness it or watch it or interfere. Whereas in case of violence by the uh, outside agencies, everybody may be in a position to witness it or if one has a courage, one may also interfere it. He also presented certificates to the paper presenter. <laughs> Saima Farhad, Assistant Professor, Department of Social Work, presented the vote of thanks. The Department of Students' Welfare, in association with Amblin Events, held a contest called the DCL Student of the Year, where the students will be judged on the basis of their performance in various events like debates, quiz, painting and photography. Dean Students' Welfare, Professor Fayaz Ahmed, said on the occasion that students need to be provided a platform to excel and they should be given the freedom to choose. They can excel in their own events if they are provided a platform, but we probably don't. But simultaneously, uh, this is the responsibility of we as teachers and as parents also, that we shouldn't thrust our wish on the students or on our children. We should give them a freer uh, hand to decide their career options so that they use the potential, they use the capability, they use the strengths. So we have to see to it that what are our strengths and in which field we can excel and adapt that line so that whatever has been provided by Almighty, whatever talent has been provided, whatever strengths have been provided, they don't go waste. Professor Mohammad Hussain, Dean Faculty of Law, stressed on the evaluation of students on the basis of their all-round development. Actually, you are looking at the other sphere of the activities of a student, not his basic activity, that is his academic activity, his performance in the classwork, his performance in the examination. You are looking at a different aspect of the person. Therefore, my request to all the persons who will be involved that have that emotional and spiritual aspect in contemplation, in consideration, where you will be choosing the people for the awards. Cultural officer Shahid Ali Khan briefed the audience about the event. The event comprising of four events, debate, the four of 
arguments, photography, painting, and quiz. Actually, it's not a quiz, sir. It's a competitive test. The test involves uh, general science, history, geography, economics. It's wrongly mentioned. Actually, it's a competitive test. Students conducted the proceedings of the event and also performed on the occasion. <laughs> You judge a fish by its ability to climb, then the whole life the fish will think that she's stupid and she's foolish. But the thing is, she has other capabilities. She has potential in swimming. She don't know how to climb. And if for the whole life I tell her, oh, you don't know how to climb, you're stupid, you're foolish, she'll deem that she's foolish. The same is the case with our students, our children. The Winter School Refresher course on Excellence in Higher Education concluded at the UGC Human Resource Development Center. Professor Mushtaq e. Siddiqui, Vice Chancellor of the Islamic University of Science and Technology, was the chief guest of the valedictory function. He talked about his own model on achieving excellence in higher education. I've created a model of my own, how we can actually achieve some of the targets in this program of excellence in higher education. In my model, I've put three strong components. First and the foremost is how highly motivated human resource we have as trainers. Second part, which complements the first one, is to have a strong, compatible, and comparable infrastructure. The third component to achieve the excellence is to find a good input be a good student inside who is motivated to do a post-graduation. If he enters a university education, he should be motivated to go into a college if he is really worth that. So unless and until ultimately you achieve these three, I'm sure we are not really going to achieve much. The director of UGC HRDC, Professor G.M. Sangmi, said that teachers need to look beyond syllabi and books to educate the students holistically. The teachers in the capacity of student professors, additional professors, or professors, or research professors, they are busy in their routine work. We wanted that you should get a chance to think about certain things beyond your textbooks and beyond your syllabi, which has been prescribed by you or by your board of studies. In that direction, this was a unique course which we, for the first time, designed like this, that let us focus on certain things, what you perceive would be relevant in the coming days to overcome the challenges with the society faces. I think our job in the society has been designed, has been demanded in such a way. We cannot wait. We cannot watch. And we cannot react, we cannot be reactive, but we have to be proactive because in our hands, the future of the progeny of our society lies. Coordinator HRDC Dr. Mohammed Ishaq Gheer conducted the proceedings of the event. Today these participants are here. After a few days, new participants will come, new notifications will be pasted there, new schedules will be pasted there. But what remains behind is the moments which you have spent with us and we will cherish those moments and what you have taken from this course, what you have learned from this course, you will cherish that knowledge, those skills and we hope that they will be fruitful ones to you. The participants were presented with certificates on the occasion and they also shared their experience. I had the opportunity of attending previous orientation program in this very center and after that I also attended the refresher program in this very hall. But I should say very honestly that this was the best organized out of all three in terms of coordination, in terms of also the choice of resource persons and also the management, the, uh, the schedules, etc. No doubt there were flaws in that. Nothing can be perfect. But I think the attempt had been made this time to minimize all those 
things which had happened in the past. केवल एक्सपर्ट आए और बात करी ऐसा नहीं बहुत अंतरक्रियात्मक सेशन रहे बहुत हॉट डिस्कशन हुए बहुत गंभीर चर्चा हुई तो मैं समझता हूं कि हमारी जो थीम थी उस थीम को हम आज सफल कह सकते हैं कि हम अपने उद्देश्य में सफल रहे With this, we come to the end of today's program. In case you have missed some part of the program, you can log on to emmrcashmir.com where you can watch the whole episode. Send us your suggestions at our email address that is quest at emmrcashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. I wouldn't sweat too much as to what it is, where it is or what you are doing. as long as you're learning.